Today we're going to talk about moving bed waterfall filters and floating biomedia. I had a client come in over the weekend and visit us at the headquarters here and they had just installed a moving bed waterfall filter on their pond from Helix. And the question she had was, uh, hey, what can I do to keep the floating biomedia from coming into the pond? And it was a kind of a real simple, it was simple to talk her through it, but I think it's uh, something that needs to be explained upon a little bit more. And let me give you the background on the moving bed waterfall filter. We brought this filter to the industry in 2012. In 2011, I was beta testing this, this technology. It's not new technology, but in, in the pond industry, in a waterfall filter, it's a, it was a, still a relatively new technology. Now, um, the way it came through is, uh, in 2010, by that time, I'd already had a lot of ponds in the ground, and a lot of my clients uh, had, were experiencing their fish getting too big, and they didn't know what to do, whether to build the pond bigger or to add new filtration. And so we always had this dilemma of what to do with their pond. So when you have problems, we look for solutions, and the, the Helix Moving Bed Waterfall Filter became a really great opportunity and solution for these people. So. To redo filtration sometimes is a lot, and uh, it takes up a lot of space in the yard, and it doesn't look so pretty, but the moving bed waterfall gives us this power punch of, of a biological filter to add to the pond, and our testing was proving really fun. Now the challenge we had to overcome was having this media tumbling around in the filter and trapping it in the filter so it didn't come washing back in, and that's why I think the technology hadn't, hadn't come to the industry yet. So once we had that figured out, then we started to apply it. And let me give you some examples uh, of, of how it works really well. This moving bed water, uh, this moving bed filter media, it tumbles inside the filter. It's floating, it's buoyant, so it's floating around. And we inject air into the bottom of the filter through a small disc like this. So imagine this is at the bottom of the filter, all this media is floating up above there. We inject air in and it starts doing this inside the filter. Water is coming in and flowing out through the top in a waterfall fashion. So the neat thing about this is, this media is covered with beneficial bacteria and it's tumbling inside that filter. So in a static environment when nothing's moving in there, the media is just sitting there and water passes through it and then the, the, all the beneficial bacteria colonize on here, they start to process the water. But now imagine if this media is doing this inside there. Number one, it's getting oxygen, which beneficial bacteria loves. Number two, this media is touching the water multiple times before it comes back into the pond. So imagine water passes through it once or water can pass through it multiple times. So you can see how we put a lot of action and power into it. So that's the unique thing about the moving bed waterfall filter. I do want to tell you one more story. I had one pond, it, was, it had everything it really needed. It was doing great. The client really overstocked the pond and overfed the pond. And what we did is we went out there to see him and consult with him about what we should do to manage the water quality. And um, he was feeding so much that his filter almost kept up with it, but when he fed the pond, he would have a, an ammonia spike in the pond. You could literally see the water get cloudy during that time frame of an hour or so. So he'd feed the fish, the water would turn a little cloudy, the fish weren't so happy, and then the, the filter would catch up with everything after that food was introduced, the water would go clear again. We put a moving bed waterfall filter on the pond and we alleviated that problem and now he just feeds and now we have balance. It doesn't mean he can't get more fish and overfeed more and overcome this, but we solved that problem with the moving bed waterfall filter. So uh, to get to her question, and I think this is something that I really wanna get across to everyone because it's newer technology and a lot of people maybe don't understand how this works. Uh, what's really cool about this um, is on the inside of this little wagon wheel, there's beneficial bacteria colonizing on there and it's a non-collision zone. So imagine these things are jumping around in the filter hitting each other as they're tumbling. So the outside is kind of self-cleaning. Unless you really are putting dirty, dirty, filthy water into the, the unit, you're getting fairly clean water. This needs to be processed. So this collision zone is cleaning itself, right? The inside is a non-collision zone and so all this really amazing beneficial bacteria colonizes in here. And the neat thing is in, in this environment, you're not taking this out and washing it like you would a pad. You take a pad out, you wash it down, you beat it around a little bit, you disturb all that beneficial bacteria. In here, we're not doing that. So three, four, five years go down the line and the, meat, the, the bacteria that's in there 
is really a whole lot stronger than you can ever imagine. Bacteria can colonize. So there's really great bacteria that take two or three years to colonize in here. And if you're taking it apart every year and cleaning it, you never reach that maturity level. So that's what's really special about this type of filtration. So get to answering her question and maybe helping you all understand that. When you put this media in there, it's, it's uh, really buoyant, okay? So there's a new pond, has a lot of oxygen in it. You're pumping oxygen into it. And then you have, this is kind of like a static. You know, you put on a shirt, it's kind of got static on it. Imagine this having static on there. So they're super buoyant, they're almost, floating out of the top of the water. So what we recommend that you do is only put a third of the media into the filter at a time. So let's say you're gonna put a whole five gallon bucket into this filter. We're only gonna put a third of the bucket and we're gonna wait a couple of weeks. What happens after a couple of weeks is you get that static effect, you, you, the oxygen's broken off of it and then the beneficial bacteria start to colonize on here and they become a little bit heavy and they start to sink just a little bit. They're still floating and tumbling, but they get kind of heavy. So after a couple of weeks, you can put in another third and wait a couple of weeks until you add the final third. And all the time you would be putting, you know, beneficial bacteria, you'd be dropping some liquid beneficial bacteria into the pond, sending it to here to help colonize this faster. So the question was, I know this was kind of detailed, we kind of went into a long explanation, but the question was, how do I keep my floating media from jumping into the pond and the, 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 the answer is to keep it to, to do it in segments and let it mature before you put it all in and that's the answer to the question so I'm gonna get to the question of the day I want to ask you guys uh, a couple things uh, those of you who have too many fish and you overfeed are you gonna a get um, get rid of some of your fish B build a bigger pond or C, install a Helix moving bed waterfall filter. Put your questions, put the answer to my question down in the comments below, and I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon. And please ask us more questions. Just hashtag Ask the Pond Digger and put it on all the social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, even hit me up on Periscope. We'll talk to you soon.